Nicola Sturgeon's independent Scotland will be treated in the same way as Kosovo by Spain, a legal expert has told Express. Spain's 3-1 win over Kosovo in Wednesday night's World Cup qualifier was embroiled in controversy. Kosovo's name was written in lowercase letters on TV and media due to the Spanish not recognizing their independence. Kosovo broke away from Serbia in 2008 and, after a period playing only friendly games, the national team was finally accepted as a UEFA and FIFA member in 2016. The country made its debut in World Cup qualification in 2016 but after five years, Spain is still not accepting Kosovo as its own country. On social media, many strongly criticized the move. Football Joe wrote on Twitter, because Spain does not recognize Kosovo independence, their name is being written in lowercase letters for tonight's game. Beyond petty, Spain is now one of just a handful of countries yet to recognize Kosovo as a state, with China, Russia, Greece, Slovakia and Romania holding a similar position. In an exclusive interview with Express, Mar Aguilera Vaquez, professor of constitutional law at the University of Barcelona, argued that if Scotland becomes independent, it would be treated in the same way by the Spanish government. She explained, we had a football match. Spain against Kosovo and there was the biggest scandal. On Spanish television they wrote Kosovo in lower case because Spain doesn't recognize its independence. Ms. Aquilera Vaquez added, I guess it would be the same for Scotland for sure. They don't want to replicate what is happening here with Catalonia. Catalonia is one of Spain's wealthiest and most productive regions and has a distinct history dating back almost 1,000 years, its desire for independence stretches back decades. Three years since its government's failed attempt to unilaterally declare independence, Catalonia has somewhat disappeared from international headlines. However, while its institutions are unlikely to pose any serious new threats to Spain's stability, the political situation in the autonomous region is far from normalized. Several pro-independence politicians are currently in jail or in exile, violent protests regularly break out in the streets, and the war of flags continues on the balconies of Catalonia's towns and cities. It was indeed Spain who, ahead of the Scottish independence referendum in 2014, crushed former First Minister Alex Salmond's hopes for a smooth EU transition. The ex-Spanish leader Mariano Rajoy told his government in 2013 that he believed an independent Scotland could only apply to join the EU from outside the organisation as a new state, as he warned against regions of Europe embarking on solo adventures in an uncertain future.